Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can start making your very own vinyl decals. So the very first thing that you're going to need is a vinyl cutter. There's two brands that you can choose from, Silhouette or Cricut. I personally started with the Silhouette Cameo, so this is the one that I'm going to be recommending since I have no experience with the Cricut at all. If you can't afford a brand new one, you can search through eBay and probably find a really good pre-owned one to start off with. The next thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you get your tools and your materials. This is the weeding tool that comes standard with the Cameo when you buy it. It's what I use to learn and it's pretty good to start off with. I would however recommend that you learn with the Fisker blade just cause it makes weeding really easier to pick up and also to cut excess pieces but you can use whatever you want to start off. If you would like to pick one of these up I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below so you can order one. Another option that you can try is a pair of tweezers. I got these off Amazon as well, link down below. Some people like using them, some people don't. I prefer the razor blade. Next thing on the list is vinyl transfer film. Everything I show you guys in this video, I'll leave a link down below in the description so I can stop repeating myself, <laughs> so you guys can check out. I like this specific brand because they include a little plastic squeegee for you to apply. I don't have any more of that specific transfer film on hand, so I'll be using the one that I do have, which is this 12 inch roll. Next thing that you're going to want to have is a cutting mat. This is so you can put the vinyl on top and you can feed it through the machine. And certainly, last but not least, you're going to need vinyl. You can get this on Amazon as well. Alright, now time for software download. You can choose to use the most recent version of Silhouette Studio. I'm using the old one since that's one I'm accustomed to and I've never updated because it's kind of funky, the new one. So if you would like, you can download the 3.2 version, which I'll link down below, so you can follow along step by step. After you have the software downloaded, the next thing you want to do is connect the device. And that's as easy as plugging it in and turning it on. Go ahead and press OK, let it load a little bit, it's going to pop up with all this stuff but you don't really need to worry about it, it's just some preset decals you can mess around with and cut but we're not going to do that. Now we're going to get ready for a test cut. So in the top left corner, select the square tool and you're going to want to make a square inside of a square. Just like that. Go into your top right corner to the cut settings and go down to the material section, click on the vinyl and it should pop up the blade settings which you can mess around with the speed and the thickness. So with the speed, I usually max it out at the highest being 10 centimeters a second. And then the thickness, here's where you want to adjust the blade on the machine. You can find that right here on the top left corner, just turn the lever and pull it out. The one that you have might look different from this one, that's because this one's the premium one and not the standard one. But all both of them on the bottom have a dial of the blade depth that you can turn. You usually want to start around one, maybe one and a half or two, but most vinyls cut around the one area, so you just want to experiment and do a lot of test cuts until you get it right. Go ahead and put it back in, lock it into place, and the next thing we want to do is load in our vinyl. There are arrows on the machine that indicate where you should align the mat, so go ahead and follow that guide. Once you have it, go ahead and press load cut mat, and it should feed the cut mat through the machine. Then once you have it all set, all you have to do is press the send the silhouette button down here and it should start cutting. Once it's done, go ahead and unload it. And here we have our first test cut. So what you want to do now is grab your tool and weed out the outside square. There are two layers to this sheet, the top vinyl layer and the bottom backing paper. The reason for this test cut is we want the blade to go through the vinyl but not the backing paper. If the blade is cutting through the backing paper, then you'll need to adjust the blade on the machine or the thickness setting in the software. And as you can see here, the blade didn't go through, it did just enough to cut the vinyl 
so now we can go ahead and start making our decals. Here I'll be using the Leaf Village logo since it's pretty simple. All you have to do is save the file and then drag and drop into the software. After that, click this image in the top right corner. It's the trace tool. You want to click the select trace area and then drag a square around the design. Once you do that, it'll pop up with this yellow border. You want to make sure the whole thing is covered in yellow. So to do that, go to the value high filter and just increase it until the whole image is covered in yellow. Then you want to trace the image. So on the right over here, there's three options. There's trace, trace outer edge, and trace and detach. Usually you just want to use the trace button. So that's what we're going to be using. Click that, and then your image is traced. So now it has a red outline and that indicates a cut line for the software to cut. Usually you can keep the image, but normally I delete it just so I know what I'm looking at. What you want to do next is you want to add a square around the main design. We do this so we can limit the amount of vinyl material that we use so we could only weed out that specific area of design. I went and put the design on the right side of this matte area because if you remembered we used the left side for a test cut. Once it's all ready, go ahead and press start and the machine will be on its way. You can choose to weed the vinyl on the cutting mat or take it off. Here I'll just take it off. A question that I get asked a lot is how do you know what parts to weed and what parts to leave? And to simply put whatever you want the design to show up as, black in this case, then you leave. So here we would take out the outer parts that we don't want. Once you finish weeding out the design, next thing you want to do is put the transfer film on top. And here I'm using this roll, the one that you get on Amazon, it's going to be two sheets with a backing paper. All you have to do is just lift up the transfer film off the backing paper and layer it over the decal just like I'm about to show you. Take a razor blade or scissors if you don't have a razor and just cut off the excess transfer film. Take your squeegee and apply pressure to the top of the vinyl and transfer film. This will help the vinyl stick to the transfer film and help pull off of the backing. After that, it's time to cut out the decal. Now I have a large guillotine style paper cutter, but you can get a really cheaper one on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Or if you don't want to buy one and you have scissors, you can just use that as well. Go ahead and pull the transfer film back to see if everything's okay, and voila! You just learned how to make a vinyl decal. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Alright, see you guys next time.